how far you want to zoom in on map view. There's a lot of fun things you can do with Google Maps. All you need is those X and Y coordinates and you can pinpoint. See that Z at the end? That's for zooming in. Z equals 17. I think if it goes down to 20 is the highest and that's going to put you right down on the ground almost. See the hyperlink? For the address, there's a little function button. You want the website. Radio button, click that website radio button. Here's the X and the Y. You're passing, this is the URL for Google Maps, and you're passing an X and Y to, to grab that map. When you click that, that, that address, it's now a hyperlink inside of a crystal. This is a crystal report. A lot of fun things you can do. There's the data. That's the history. So you get your tables, get your master name and your one in location. Remember, those are the SQL Server tables. Uh, there's your. These are different ways of connecting to your SQL Server database. The OLEDB one's the easiest one. Just hit a new connection, SQL Server native client 10. You want to get your SQL Server database name. The easiest way is to do this. Just go to connection, grab that server name, and then just paste it in there. And then use integrated security. It's just the easiest way to do it. Windows NT authentication. Click next, finish. There's our tables now I access them you want to put one of them in the report you can use views too you can do all your number crunching put them in a view and just select that view and just start working with those fields and plopping them on that report there's some more data that's the data for the SQL server and that's you connecting to it through crystal easy as that